There are a number of things that are innovative about the work that we're doing. The first one is the fact that we've actually managed to set up um, a social enterprise agency. This is innovative in a number of ways. Firstly, it's the first time that both a social enterprise infrastructure organisation has come together with a university to set up a joint venture. Secondly, we're setting up um, an employment agency as a social enterprise. So it's a not-for-profit organisation that reinvests all its money back into to the social aims. Um, other aspects of innovation run throughout the programme. So for example, um, we've used social media to attract our client groups. Uh, we started using Facebook and Twitter um, a while back to particularly attract some of our younger client groups. We use them um, both with the NEETS and also with our Graduate Boost clientele. Um, in fact, each package that we offer to each of the client groups um, pulls together quite a unique mix of, of activities that they're involved in. So not only do they have the one-to-one -one coaching, they have educational opportunities, they have work placements. It's a very different package that combines a lot of things that you'd normally have to go to a number of different places for, but they can come to us and, and get them all in the one spot. We've adapted and improved from a very early stage within, within the programme. We initially started with two pilot groups. We had one group of young people and we had one group of um, people that had recently been made redundant. And we used them as a, as a pilot to both test the programme and how, how it worked, but we also used them to help design the names of the support packages that we were offering to people. We have trialled working with theatre groups, we've worked um, with music festivals, a number of different organisations, and we try and adapt to see what works best. Um, we also look at the different amounts of support needs people need on one-to-one -one coaching. We tell people uh, about our work and some of the learning through a number of different means. One of the key things within the programme is the evaluation that's been undertaken throughout um, throughout the process from very early stages right to the end. Now there's been a variety of papers that have been produced as well as all, all the reports um, that are generally produced but a number of these papers have been presented both internationally and nationally at conferences. Um, also there's been journal articles um, for example, just coming up in June 2011, an article has been accepted for the Social Enterprise Journal. We also have produced a number of case studies. Uh, we use, well, three has their, their own website, but we also use partner websites and LinkedIn. On top of presentations and websites, we have a number of meetings with a variety of different bodies of, of, across the country. We, we talk with some government bodies, we also um, talk individually with local authorities and uh, we, you know, we've worked with job agencies um, and so we talk about um, the programme um, quite widely and there's, there's quite a lot of interest to know whether we can spread this learning and replicate this elsewhere.